Previously on Game Trip. Ah, no! Well, I got my mumbo tokens, okay? I've got the mumbo tokens. Nope, I didn't, I didn't. Are you, are you serious? Son of a gun. Okay. I just, I don't know. Fuck. Okay, welcome back everybody. We have returned to Banjo-Kazooie and we're out of the swamp. Or actually, we were out of the swamp a while back. We're out of the sewer, I guess, since the last level was a super dirty, stanky sewer level. But this one's gonna be fun. Uh, maybe. <laughs> you know, maybe. Wait, what? I don't remember this. Oh. This level is seasonal. Okay, we're, well, I'm gonna start in spring, I think. What? I hardly ever made it this far in the game, so it, it's, it's kind of, I mean, this is probably like the third time I've ever been here. Hmm. Okay, so no spring access. How about some summertime, no? Um, okay, well, what's going on here? This is a shady situation. And fall doesn't want to open for me? Do I get a season? Now what? Maybe... No? Huh. I do need some more eggs. Um... Now see here, what's this all about? I unlocked the level, but I can't get in the level. Wow, your best note score for this world is... Four! <laughs> you fucking dolt! You're a total moron! Did you even try? I haven't even got all the Jinjos, I'm not trying. <laughs> okay, come on here. Come on here now. It's facing me this way. So I should get to go in. Now come on, no. let me in the door. What is going on here? Wait a minute. No, this can't be it. Oh God, I see what it is now. I saw it right before I left. <laughs> well, what a way to start the episode. Completely lost and confused. Okay, look. You gotta hit the buttons. I didn't even see this. Oh, cool. This is just like one of my favorite games, Don't Starve. You start in the spring, and then you have to work your way through the seasons. Because spring... I mean, come on, let's be honest. Spring's the easiest season. You know, summer gets too hot, winter gets too cold, autumn's all bleak and depressing, but spring, everything's coming to life. You know, it's it's new game plus for the seasons, essentially. Oh, look at this little Robin Hood. I'm not gonna kill you. I don't kill Robin Hoods, unless they piss me off. Oh, we got another swanky tune in here. Oh, I see your game. Wait, you gotta... Dun, dun, dun. Wait. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, come on. <laughs> so I know it's possible. Gotcha! Anyway, so welcome back, guys. Um... Oh, I didn't even think I was gonna get to record this today. You know, it's been I've been so busy. I went to a freaking Asian festival today, which was really cool. Just kind of a, a place where, because I, you know, I have some friends who are Asian, and um, yes, I beat my note score. Went to this festival where they performed a bunch of different kinds of performances. Okay, that seems important. Otherwise, they wouldn't cut scene like that. 
Uh, let's get all of these guys. Right? Do I... No, okay, there's no egg thing. Anyway, I saw a bunch of things. The most notable of which, though, was this, um... God, you know, I didn't actually hear w which region it was from, but these two girls dressed up in this, like, dazzling, uh... These dazzling golden outfits that made them look like, like, Hindu gods or something. It was worth it. Um and performed like a 20 minute da dance in which each move they did like incorporated, you know, a part of their body uh, or every part of their body, like their legs, their hands, their eyes, their mouth, everything. It was, I was, I could not believe that they were just able to, to do that without, without any pause. Like there was so much memory you'd have to have. So much memory comprehension, I guess, you'd have to have. Anyway, it, it was nuts. And they kept doing this darty eye thing, where they would just, like, dart their eyes to the left or to the right, in contrast to their movements. And it was weirding me out, you know? Um, because it was a very, you know, I don't know what the dance was, which which honestly, made, was, it's kind of cool when you don't know what something is, because you get to experience it fresh, right? Okay? And... It was obviously a traditional, like, religious-based dance, you know? There was so much adornment and everything. Um, and what it reminded me of is because they kept doing these shifty eyes, right? Okay? And and you'll see this in a lot of Hindu artwork. Uh, you'll, see, you'll see a lot of eyes shifted in... What's this about? Some kind of reused asset? They are just reusing Spiral Mountain assets here, it looks like a lot, but whatever. Anyway, so, the thing that... So, a lot of these Eastern religions, okay, here we go talking about religion again, but a lot of these Eastern religions are... not necessarily set in stone, you worship me, and that's all there is to it kind of beliefs, you know, um, like a lot of Western religions turned out to be. And that's not, I'm not just poking fun at Christianity. We've had a whole slew of them, you know, where it's just like, hey, this guy's in charge and we're going to worship him. And that's the point, right? Um, whereas a lot of the Eastern religions uh, point to this unity in the universe. And they're very aware. Okay, so I've already been here. Just trying to observe what's going on in the level. Haven't really got my grounding yet. Um, the Hindu religions tend to interpret this universal unity as a sort of play. Like a, like a theater act, right? Which is really interesting in itself, uh, that they interpret it that way. It just shows that that's kind of something that's important to them. Um, in their culture. But... Yeah, well, I'm trying, to, I'm trying not to get lost. Are these are these platforms at all? No, not till they like bloom or something. Okay, I'll figure out my way around this level. Just give me a minute. Um, but they'll they're very aware that coming to be coming to terms with an experience is more than just explaining something. Like you know, I could tell you all day about um oh god, what's a movie? What's a really good movie, you know? Like, I, I could tell you all day about Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, about how there's this guy and this kid Charlie, and he's really poor, and he sees this magical man, and you can put it together in your head, but it, you gotta admit, it's not like, oh, crap. Yes, you're Bramble. It's not like actually seeing it, you know? It's not like seeing and, and having... Oh, there's a mumbo. And having that experience, uh, which is really magical and unique, and there's facets to it that can't really be explained unless you're there, right? A lot of experiences are like that. Um, I mean, you could probably use any movie with that. So, they're very aware that they can't just explain it to you, so they'll make a lot of stories and, and games to kind of trick you into getting there yourself, you know? Um, but essentially, the Hindu point of view is that you know, 
this is a rough interpretation, so I'm not trying to explain an entire religion away here, okay? But it's essentially like God got bored because there was nothing. Which didn't even technically exist, really, but let's not get into that. God got bored because there was nothing, so he started acting out the whole universe and all the things in it. And they're all actually just him, right? You know, whether you think it's Shiva or Ganesha or uh, you think it's this bumblebee, it doesn't matter. They're just all part of the same one. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. Okay, let's figure out how to land. How the hell do you land? Ah! Whoa, 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 what did I see over here? What the hell's that? It's just really bright. You know, but it essentially goes like that. God got bored, started acting out the universe, and the universe is God. So when you, like, go up to someone and you say namaste, right, you're essentially saying, hey, I recognize that I'm God and you're God and we're not really each other. We're just pretending right now. So let's take off this mask for just a second so we can kind of observe that. Um, you know, and there's, there's so much more to it than that, but that's essentially it. Uh, so when I see a dance like that and I see... You know, these these girls doing these darty eye movements. It's almost like subtly hinting at that sort of existential reality. You know, that like, hey, uh, this is all an act, you know, and we're sort of aware of that. You know, you want to kind of tease at it. You don't want to give up the whole show because, I mean, you would ruin the universe that way. You know, you'd undo all of God's work and trees and people and things would start disappearing. And this, this, uh, I'm not saying it's my, my viewpoint necessarily. Um, you know, because I, I think, it, ultimately, I think the, 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 whatever, the ultimate nature of everything, man, we're getting really deep in Banjo-Kazooie here. <laughs> but the ulti I think the ultimate nature of everything is ultimately just unexplainable. Like, you can't comprehend it at all, you know? Like, don't even, don't even attempt. I mean, you should attempt, it's fun, but, like, I don't think it, it's, it's doable, you know? Right, so... Um, and I could be wrong. I also think that I could be wrong. So, yeah, I'm a fallibilist at heart. Chomp, chomp, chew. Nib, 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 like acorns. I'll just eat a few more. Are you, you trying to tell me something, Nabnut? How do I go down? I would so like to know. <laughs> I haven't gotten a single jiggy yet. Okay, well, I have gotten a lot of things, and things are nice. Okay, I'm trying to figure out if there's, like, a down button, but there's not. It's just, like, flying Kazooie. Not the best mechanics in the world. And I'm getting a lot of feathers, which makes me think there's a flying pad in here somewhere, but... It's probably not. Why, why am I walking? No! <laughs> I'm not used to being a bee. I did have one follow me today. I got some curry at this festival, okay? And... And it was like this really delicious curry with like a mango drink that was... Some kind of Indian mango drink. Um... Uh, and this bee, it just saw my food, and it was like, is that a flower? Or whatever? And it followed me. It followed me all through the freaking park, all the way across the thing. And I know bees are struggling right now, okay? I'm not... I'm not... Is this the same room? Okay. Man, I am not getting anything done here. Maybe it goes higher. Oh, most certainly goes higher. Oh, there's one! Alright, one jiggy! That'll get me to the witch. Oh, okay, and there's that big thing there. Well, it seems I'm gonna have to get up here... Uh, using the bear and the bird, so I, I guess I better just go back. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I gotta get there somehow with the bear and the bird. I mean, I'm glad I had enough mumbo to tokens for this. I was kind of worried about that. 
So I think it's pretty clear now that I don't know this game like the back of, back of my hand. I'm pretty sure I said that when I started, and um, I'm sorry for lying to everybody. I am now a liar, because I said that and it is so not true. I don't know where I am, what's going on. I, I, kn I knew I was going to be a bumblebee in this level, and that that's it. That's all I knew. That's, 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 the, end, that's the end of the situation. Okay, so where could this flying pad be? There's another mumbo. Okay, we got this stump over here. See, I have to like, this is why it's good for me to do a let's play. Because when I'm sitting here doing this stuff by myself, I actually have to explain this all to myself like this while I'm doing it. I don't know if any of you guys do that. Um, okay, there's an extra, what, there's a beaver. Somebody moved his baller. Naughty can't get in his house. Oh, it's Naughty. That's the same name as the little uh, beaver creatures. That's probably in the summer when this lake dries up. Okay, that's the same name as the little beaver creatures from Donkey Kong. And I'm really digging this crossover character thing. Like, Diddy Kong Racing had Banjo, and then Banjo had references to Diddy Kong, and F-Zero was made by Nintendo, and, and has references to Star Fox. Uh, yeah, freaking Leon is in... Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is how we get up. I knew it would happen eventually. Okay, but I came here as a bumblebee and got all the goodies, so I don't think I have to worry about that. If I get anywhere in this level, it'll be a miracle. Okay, then we're on the... Okay, we come over here. I see, I see. It's like one of these deals. So that I can get to the summer. And if I can get to the summer, I can release Naughty. Because after summer comes, or after spring comes summer, some people have said. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Who who designed this? MC Escher? No, 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 because we get back in the backpack. You're not needed here. <laughs> oh god, we made it. <laughs> well, the beak buster does extra damage, I guess. I mean, I guess because it's a technically a spear. We did it. I love seasonal levels. Chomp chomp chew. Nab nut likes acorns. I'll just eat a few. They should have just ended it with a few. It would have it would have rhymed. No. I don't have an acorn for you. Oh, I see. He'll eat a few now, but come winter, he's not gonna have any left, and he's gonna need his old pal Banjo. Banjo the bear. Go get him some nuts and just bring him like some salmon from the river. I'm like, can you eat these? I love squirrels personally. I mean, I know they're common as corn. Oh, geez, my southern showed there. Um, but, you know, they're, they're just adorable until you really get to know them and they're kind of ferocious little bear monsters and they will bite you. Oh, me, Eerie, Mate Eagle needs sleep now. Uh, good night, Eerie. You're welcome for freaking giving birth to you. I'm, I'm your mother, I guess. Uh-uh. No, I... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We can save it. There we go. We're good. I'm not giving up here. All right, we got this. Huh. Wow, this level's gonna take a few, tr a few tries. So I'll probably spend another episode here and then will do the fabled catch-up episode that I've been talking about. Alright, we're just gonna... 
cheat a little bit. Ah, yeah, there we go. Oh, I should have done it that way the first time. I have to say, this is by far one of the best musical tracks in the game. It's so swanky. I love me a swanky track. Oh, I don't like this. Ugh. Uh-uh. Uh. Jeez. Uh. Oh my god, the Jinjo's up here? What the hell? I'll come back for him, Jesus! I just want to see what's in here before I fall off. Okay, we got a Jiggy, woohoo. <laughs> That's something, game. Ah! Is that it? Is that what we got in this level? This level is crazy. This is by far the most expansive. I mean, it's probably not the biggest or anything, but. Okay, we're gonna do this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's what it was all for. That's why I got that one golden feather. And now we just have to get down. Oh yeah, and let's get Mumbo over here. Because I still have to turn into a dishwasher in, in one level. There's got to be something to this. Like, there's got to be a seed I can plant. Oh! Oh! Uh-huh. Oh, this level's awesome. Growth. Change. The dynamic universe. I'm stuck under the plant. Alright, let's get out of here. I, I guess part one of this level accomplished, at least. Ow! Oh, my banjo must be rubbing off on me. I'm starting to make the sounds he makes. Okay, let's get out of here. Time for summertime, which is the time that it is now in, in real life. In fact, it's it's terribly hot. You know, I live in a place where there's not many weather changes that are of no, like th there's hardly lightning here, honestly. Like, th not not much happens weather-wise. I kind of miss lightning storm the lightning storms of the south that I used to experience when I was younger. Um, I'm trying to find my way out of this level, and it's, it's not working out for me. But I do kind of, kind of miss it. But something weird that's been happening here is I've been seeing a crap load of dust devils. Really big ones, and we're never gonna get a tornado, so... Oh my god, is that it? Is this it? We're never gonna get a bunch of tornadoes, but I've seen some really impressive dust devils lately. Like, they go so high, I can't even really see the end of them. Which is cool. I love weather formations. They're fun to watch. Oh, summer. Jeez, bees, bees, bees. Ah, uh, that's enough. Very hungry now. Need five caterpillars. Oddly specific. Oh, look, and all the things are bigger. They're all huge now. Oh, I love this. And the music changed. Is it the same song, though? Oh, there's one. Gee, hungry animals like caterpillars. Yeah, you are bottom of the food chain, buddy. I'm sorry you're conscious enough to realize it. All right, let's check it out. Let's see summertime. Ah! When will I learn? 
Yeah, this is all dried out now, so... Let's go help what's-his-name with his- with his problem. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I've killed tons of your kind in Donkey Kong. I love his little dance. Oh yeah, I'll come on in. The notes here are pretty far and few between- Oh, do I gotta be a bee. I gotta come in as a bee. I open it as a bear, I gotta come in as a bee. Them's the rules. Ah! Okay. Well, at least that's taken care of. Sick. Mm. Oh, they have shades. <laughs> oh, because it's summer. <laughs> they gave the Robin Hoods shades. <laughs> Dang it. I'm not very coordinated. That's not true. I'm getting more coordinated. I thought, why not test my coordination? And at this festival, I bought one thing. It was a hacky sack. You know, because I like soccer. And I'm like, well, I mean, a hacky sack's basically soccer. Oh, I'm, I'm getting in. You better believe I'm getting in. Shit! That was a risky move. Ah! Does this mean I gotta go back and do everything? Okay, well, I gotta cut back. I gotta go ding dang do everything again. I'll be, I'll be right back, guys. Or you know what? Actually, it, 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 no, 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 no. Re refresh, refresh, re remix the beat. It's time for the next time on Game Trip. Um, I guess this will be a shorter episode by like five minutes, but whatever. Maybe I can, maybe I can make it worth your while. I mean, you know, you guys need the whole thirty minutes. Sometimes I go longer, sometimes I go shorter, but surely there's, there's something I can do. Oh, yeah, you know, we, we can go to... Ah! We can go to the Treasure Trove Cove and enter in a password, because I have some passwords to enter in. Oh, hello! Gavna! That's something to do. Look at this, did you guys, did you guys miss it? Did it, did it flip your slip? Did it slip your flip? <laughs> did it flop your slop? Um... It's right over there. You see it? How do we get there? I I gotta be honest, Grunty. I was not paying attention. How do we get in there? Okay, let's do a little exploring. We got two minutes left, and then we were at 30 minutes, so... Let's do a little exploring. Or how about just a good old, I'm dead. What, no? Oh! All of a sudden I'm like, dodging it like a, like I'm a spy kid. I saw those movies way too much growing up. We, we just had them. All right. No! Oh! Five notes short? Really, Grunty? Shit. Oh, here it is. Look at this. This is exactly what we were looking for. Okay. Oh, now it's way easier to get over here. Okay, I, I, I usually have to go through the whole freaking castle when I boot up this game. And now I don't have to do that, do that anymore. Well, that wasn't what I was looking for, but that's what we found. Next time on Game Trip, we, uh, we grab the bull by the horns. Yeah. 
Wow, 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 wow,